and welcome. The Coventry Goblet. Um, a terminology which was um, born in Coventry at my demo. Uh, this is a fine example of a Coventry Goblet and today's video is going to be a fix for said goblet. So I'll go over to the lathe now and join me with my fix for a Coventry goblet. Okay so I've got the scotch pad around the outside of the jaws to protect the inside of the goblet and just place that over and what you want to try and do is make sure that there's no scotch pad between the rim of the goblet bowl <coughs> and the back of the jaws and then holding it against, now don't over tighten, over extend the jaws otherwise you'll crack the bowl. Put a, <coughs> a shallow curve on the inside, convex curve there, and um, that rests really nicely on the bowl. So what I'll do is sand this up now, and then we can work our way down the stem. The thing with doing any goblet, especially an off-centre one, is you want to finish each section on each axis as you go. Sanding sealer mix, because the knuckle is going to start here, you see, so we'll finish this bit off. I don't want to get anything on there because that's going to be glued. It's going to be tight up against the <coughs> bottom of the bowl anyway. Okay, let that dry, denib it, uh, put another coat of sanding sealer mix on there, and then some Hampshire Sheen, and then we'll work our way down the stem. And now, loosen the jaws and off center it. So now we put it back on its original axis, slacken off the jaws and put it back and a little bit of 
altering around here just to get it smack on. Well, that's not too bad. Okay, so we've done down to there now, and before I carry on with the stem, I'm going to stick the um, the bulb to the top and let that dry. I'll put glue on the inside as well as the outside, and that should and then we'll bring up the tailstock. And I've just taped a little bit of mouse mat to the end of a. Um, a live center because then I can apply pressure right at the bottom and I get a good seal because the pressure is sort of from from this area much better than out here where it possibly can move it so that's where I'm going to leave it finish now. off the stem. have the top part of the goblet. Now I've just got to do the base. Okay this is the uh, the piece that the original goblet flew off from. So I'll just get rid of that. Okay so now I'm going to drill a hole to accept the, uh, the tenon. Yeah. So okay. So now I'm going to use um, some wood glue and put that into the hole and move it around. Here's the tailstock, the live centre inside there with the mouse pad giving pressure along the central axis and then this should turn out okay. Well it's the following day now and um, I've allowed the uh, glue to set up overnight. Um, I I'm going to, I'm not sure what sort of design I'm going to have on the foot yet, but I've blended in there um, and I'm going to be wary to see how well the join has, has taken there um, so that if, if I do need to re-glue it and rejoin it I'll have wood left here to do so. So I'll start off with a, um, a half inch or 10 mil uh, spindle guide. pleased how that's turned out actually. So what I have to do now is to sand up this bottom part, the bottom part of the stem and the base. Um, again apply two coats of sanding sealer, denibbing between each one and one or two coats of Hampshire Sheen, part him off and the job is done. 
Okay, so I'm just going to put a second application of Shasheen on. Watch that. Okay, we'll let that uh, go off and then I'll give it a final buffing and then we'll part okay. off and we'll be done with buffing. And I think we'll call that complete. Well, here's the finished goblet. It's got a Conjalo, uh, Conjalo Alves um, bowl and base and the stem is Zebrano or Zebra wood and it stands seven and a half inches tall and two inches across the widest point of the bowl and the uh, base. Um, I'm afraid the camera wasn't turned on while I parted off but I'm sure we've all seen things parted off before and you know how to do it so apologies for that. Well thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the fix. I'll put some photographs up at the end. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.